She is, yani, utijui entertainer in ukieka hivi yote because TV, radio host, event MC, uyu kidogo kidogo, digital tamuna pale, and atupatia encouragement. We've talked about her on this show before. Yani, Joey Mudengi is finally in the building. Yay. Welcome, y'all. Well, <laughs> She's you. looking so lovely Thank in you. person, you. honestly. The TV so does not do any justice to you. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the show. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm excited to be here with you ladies. Yeah. I was just telling my brother as we're coming here, I, yeah. I think it's been two years since I've been on TV, since I've done a TV interview. I think the last one I did was in 2018, so I was kind of nervous. I was like, I forgot how to do this. Yeah, we've, yeah. Got, we've got a few <laughs> so disclaimers. Be, be nice. Do not do this, do not do this. Be careful, be nice. <laughs> but we're, we're here to have a good time. It's yeah. a very easy show. Okay. Wuna Sema two years, we've been seeing you on the screen for a bit. <laughs> you know? For yeah. a long time and radio and all of that. So you've you've been um Dakwambiani ni wale watu walianzisha tunafuata yeah. around the block yeah for yeah. a bit <laughs> yeah. and consistent yeah. that so yeah. mm -hmm. thank good. god yeah. but i'm going to ask you uh, you got your first like the first vdj i ever heard about it was kenyan mm -hmm. and it was you yeah how was that experience for you like um, channel o and yeah, all that yeah channel o that was one of like back in the, the day like the back in that was how like, old were you <laughs> i don't know how old that was but <laughs> i was think around 18 i started like 2010 ish <laughs> oh. BJ wow. thing and they had they're going to different uh, East African countries and yeah. Nigeria as well looking for BJ so it was like a whole search and everybody auditioned mm -hmm. and you walk into the room and it's all your friends and you're like hiya yeah and then they took so long to let us know but um, it was great I got to travel a lot I've got I've got to meet all the African superstars go to award shows interview people so it was a really good entry into the television yeah world for me so that, that was like your like your breakthrough yeah that was a breakthrough I'd done I'd hosted TV before Lo locally here right. yeah. I had done a dance show um, and, and acted and some other things but that was like the main Africa is getting to see me great mm -hmm. the little Joey growing up was she always into the limelight did you know that this is what you wanted Emma there was another plan mm -hmm. and then the big plan I had like took over. I had like 16 plans you I had, had I didn't know what I really wanted to do okay. but I knew that I, wa I liked to entertain people yeah. but I just didn't know in what form that would come as when I went to college, I tried a whole bunch of different degrees. I was Uku dentistry, I was engineering, I was psychology, I was everything. I didn't know. And then when I finally got into my mass communications classes, mm -hmm. I excelled and I was like, this, this is, is it. it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm still. It's okay, <laughs> Nana. It's okay. Take your time. Uh, <laughs> take your <laughs> but <laughs> being it, oh, do you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember the first program that really had very good production back in the day was Changing Times, mm. and you were you were an actress. Yeah. Yes. So how did you land on the role? I had just hosted a dance show um, on KTN at the time called Can You Dance, yeah. and after that, I was just kind of hanging around, and I hear rumors, oh, there's a new you know production coming up. I, I, you know, they're looking to cast people, but everyone was so hush hush about it. It's like yeah. they didn't really want me to know, so I would just hang out around the office like. <laughs> <laughs> Auditions, you go. <laughs> and then, yeah, so I finally ended up going for the auditions. Funny enough, I auditioned to be one of the college kids on yeah. the show at the time. I was still rather young. Mm -hmm. um, but I entered, and then they just looked at me, and they gave me this role of that evil stepmother that yeah. I was playing. Her name was Elizabeth Kanye, and I nailed it like take one. They were like, all right. You got it. it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it was a, a lot of fun. A lot of fun being on that cast. A lot of very fun good looking people <laughs> i know i remember the show it's for true. that and just what, like, what was that though <laughs> i don't know but it was funny because even like that uh, it was insignia productions and the producer and director everyone we're all around the same age yeah so we're all like early 20s kind of just like living life mm. like partying enjoying ourselves so it was so easy it didn't feel like work but i don't know <laughs> no you nailed it, it, you nailed it. Yeah. but that was your first acting gig Yes. So it came naturally to you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd acted before, not on television, but okay. like throughout high school, I did drama in college. I did uh, like sketch comedy mm -hmm. groups and things like that, but never, I'd never been on television for acting. So that was the first one. Yeah. Yeah. And she but then you ended up on radio before you went on TV, right? I was on radio throughout. Yeah. So you were doing both the yeah, same time? Yeah, I was time. doing it the same time. I was, I was at Capitol back then. I started in 2009 doing Hits Not Homework. So yeah. while I'm doing all of that, You're I'm doing the acting TV. and I'm ch trying out for Channel Low and I'm, you know, I was doing a lot. But I ha that's when you have energy, you know that? <laughs> true. Wow. that age, you're so like, true. let me do it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but saves for right now because now you see we, we, we are getting older mm -hmm. and now you cannot do all this. But 
you can. No, we are not saying no to yeah. <laughs> to no challenges. You know? I didn't listen. I had a lot of energy back then. Yeah. I, I really did. Not to say I don't right now. Yeah. But then I was open to like everything. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. and you're just like yes, 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 yes. <laughs> right now, I'm more cautious with the things that I take on. And yeah. 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 Was it a thing? Would you tell the young ones who are getting into the scene right now that? the yes thing and land on the job is mm -hmm. the way to go? 100%. Try it all. Because you're never going to know. And you don't want to be in your 30s right now and thinking like, oh, you know that time I had a, a, yeah. a chance to do this and I didn't do it? Yeah. Like, do it all so that you leave it all on the table. Mm -hmm. And when something works, you, you follow that through. Yeah. Yeah. So being on TV and doing all these things and people know you since like you are uh, around 20 and do you feel like you are put on a pedestal when it comes to you know like people judging you mm -hmm. they expect you to be this perfect person because we we did a story about you I think a week ago I think two it weeks, was two, two weeks, weeks ago, and you were basically talking about the pressure that is put on you girls yeah, as, yeah. especially being on TV yeah. so how is la how is that like Yeah I mean it's tough especially when you're young and you don't really know know how to cope and go about mm -hmm. things the right way you're just feeling pressure from all different angles yeah. and you're feeling like I need to be this perfect person I need to look a certain way my face my hair my yeah. everything has to be yeah. beat constantly and like that's not who we really are when Do you're at you home <laughs> when we go and we wash this face yeah and we put the gitamba yes hi future boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> we're not that person 24 7 there's something that one of my former bosses told me uh, right just before I left citizen when I was you know making plans to leave and he said you have to look at yourself as a person you are when when all these lights go off. Yeah. True. When you get Who home, you? when yeah. the accolades are done, when all of that is done, do you like yourself then? And if the answer is no, you need to do some soul searching. So I think that's one of the biggest lessons I learned throughout like the past decade of me being in mm -hmm. this spot is to really separate like Joey the public figure yeah. from Motinda. <laughs> <laughs> Motinda? Yes, that's my county. Yeah. So I, I think it's, it's a learning process and you know people deal with it in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's journey is a little bit different and a little yeah. bit difficult. Yeah. But I don't think that we should put that much pressure on ourselves because at the end of the day, we're all human. And, Absolutely. you know, I think humanizing myself to people is mm -hmm. what I really want the next chapter of my life yeah. to be. It's not what you thought I was. It's like, this is who I really am. Like you make your mistakes. Yeah, and, and I, don't, I don't feel like I have that much to prove anymore. Right. Yeah. yeah. I think it's powerful. We did that story here and we couldn't, like, it was, the pressure comes from your bosses, comes from your friends, comes from your friends. Like, it's pressure left, right, center. Mm. But handling it, because sometimes people become toxic. Mm. You, you get married to this uh, public figure Image, and then you get yeah. into debts and yeah. then because yeah. you have to live that life yeah. Yeah. Boyfriend, the showy life yeah. <laughs> like there's so much pressure yeah. how did you handle all of that and be sure to be true to, to yourself who you are, yeah. all this while it was a journey i think i've had a lot of experiences in my life where you know you get jobs you lose jobs you're on top yeah. sometimes you're not mm. and there are people who will just come in on in the times when you're doing well and there's something that you can do for them mm -hmm. yeah. or when your light is shining brightest the people who enter there the more be, be very <laughs> coming to the light be very careful yeah. the people yeah. who are there for you when you're down when you've lost jobs when things aren't working all right and they're still like you know we got you and you <laughs> like i recognize you yeah those are the people that you should keep around in your circle so i've become very wary of the people that i let in close i don't have a lot of people that I consider friends in this business. Not so honestly, I have acquaintances <laughs> yeah. and I, people I like, but I'm very just like, all right, you're here for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me keep you at arm's length. But so. Joey, you can do so many things. You used to rap before. What happens <laughs> in music? We're still was waiting for you, the <laughs> I was doing everything. You <laughs> tell me, get on stage. Right. <laughs> I am <laughs> not going to Angusha <laughs> Bas. That part is done. <laughs> but you did it. I yeah. did it. And that tells a lot from like where you come from. You know, parents and all. Yeah. Because um, the during, musical back in the day, background. there were so many restrictions yeah. of you can't do this, kwa doctor, mm. you accountant, you know. Yeah. But then they let you fly which was a beautiful thankfully beautiful my my siblings and i had the experience of you know growing up partially abroad and mm. and just having a, you know a wider scope of of things from my parents as well mm -hmm. i'm the last born so by the time they got to me it, there was no pressure of like to be a doctor <laughs> they were like whatever <laughs> 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 like, 
So, uh, but also, yeah, my brother was was a rapper when I moved back from the States and yeah. I would go to the studio with him and I would just like kick it because I used to do freestyle, I mean, uh, spoken word when I was in, in the States as well. So it was kind of just, I was doing it, all of it. Like I was Well, just you <laughs> are doing it all because next I am going to ask you about you and a brother and the whole foundation that you have that feeds yeah. kids and, and dresses them in good, you know, uniforms. Like, how did you decide that this is what I really want to do? Like, I just want to help kids give back yeah. to the society. It's not everybody who gives back to the society just because yeah. they are up there. So how did you decide, okay, let me do this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so Yeah. so my brother, uh, Holy Dave, and I started the Mothengi Foundation. He started it actually mm -hmm. a year before I got involved and mm -hmm. then we registered it as non-profit. But our family has always valued ed education. Um, I We have a couple PhDs in the family, many masters. I'm the least educated with my bachelor's. <laughs> but, <laughs> but education was always very important for us. It was uh, always like something that was valued and championed and my parents are okay doing what you want to do but first education. Yeah. So with that in mind, uh, you know, we got support from our family mm -hmm. and we're thinking about giving kids opportunities to be able to study, especially because some of the, the rural places that we come from, we come from Okambani, yeah. uh, Machakos and environs and you see a lot of just uh, a lot of poverty, kids, just simple <coughs> things that you used to be able to do as a kid, go back home and do your homework. These yeah. kids don't have electricity. Yeah. So we thought, okay, solar lamps. Yeah. These kids sometimes are the ones doing all the work at home, then they're going to school full time, and you're thinking they need a fun day. Mm. Yeah. Let's go for Christmas, we chum up for them, yam up, you know, like things yeah. like that. So it's, 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 it grows naturally. And oh. then you, you think uniforms, obviously that's something that's needed. Digital libraries, they don't, a lot of them don't have access to computers. And yes, they don't. These are things that are going to come later on in life. Why can't they come now? If there are people who are willing to help us mm -hmm. and, you know, contribute to our events mm -hmm. um, and our causes, then why not? Absolutely. So, yeah. And we still have Joey in studio, so please kindly send in your questions. Double two triple nine is the number. We're going on a short commercial break. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back to Chat Sport. Uh, Hey ladies, OMG, it's her. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey Joey, I love you so, 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 so much. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Mingi sana. Yes, my Joey, I just love you so much. Hello ladies, looking good. I'm Kylie from Kirugoya. The show is Elite, keep it up. Wasewa Machakos representing, that is Winnie. Mungina um, Yosema, hi ladies. Um, Yvonne, say hi to Joey, she's pretty and lovely. No, I'm a fanana sana na kush. Really? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'm so happy and glad to see my namesake. Uh, she inspires me a lot and she has really contributed to the good person I've ended up to become. Shout out to Joy. Um, Joy from Ruiru. I love <laughs> oh, you, Joy. 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 <laughs> so, hi, Joy. You have a script for a movie. Please help me on what to do with it. It's Frank from Embu. Oh, wow. And we have some love from Facebook. Aline Purity says, loving this show. Say hi to that girl with beauty and brains. Eva oh, yeah. from Zimmerman. Um, Jemima Joy Miner says, Joy Mudengi, love her statue. And then there's Melody Njoki says, she's watching. And uh, the last one, of course, see the, the last need, the last Mimi Kusoma. Uh, hello, guys. Joyce Bana. Unatesa, love you. Mwix, love you. Vo love your voice. Watching from Nyeri. Yes. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> I hope you're comfortable talking about this, but you talked about it already. Yeah. Um, you mentioned that uh, you struggled with bulimia for a bit. I don't uh -huh. know if you still are, but you said it's a struggle that you keep fighting each and mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. Would you like to talk more about that? Um, I feel like I said everything that I wanted to say mm -hmm. at that okay. time. I, I didn't w come out really to be like, I'm the new ambassador of eating disorders. <laughs> it was just no. like, literally, yeah. I was I was going through my phone that weekend and I was looking at pictures from a couple years ago and I'm like, who is this person? Mm. Like, I, I, I did not recognize that person. And then I realized, you know, that that was a struggle that has been on and off in my life for a while. And mm -hmm. just in terms of when I get to a place of feeling like pressure or, you know, certain things and it's just like, 
you just stop eating at, you know you compare yourself with people and it, it's been something you know a lot of people were like oh this is a caucasian disease and i'm like i've gone yeah, to caucasian well, <laughs> schools most of my life so maybe that's what i thought it <laughs> but <laughs> but really it's just a, a, a larger part of just mental health which i've been trying to open up more about in recent years and talk about you know struggles i've had with the anxiety and depression and all these things yeah. and i feel like being in this industry has just made it that much worse yeah. so for me it was kind of just for anybody who's entering the industry or just younger people who are feeling that pressure right now because of social media the way it is mm -hmm. and you know everybody has to look perfect on instagram yeah. and everything like that like it's okay yeah like god gave you that body for a reason so yeah. as long as you're healthy and you're happy like that's, that's all, all that matters, matters. Yeah. That's yeah. True. and then we were doing research and I was doing research on my phone checking out Joey Mudengi anything that I don't know and then <laughs> hello and then hello. 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 the lies and the lies and the lies you know and the bloggers you see, and the bloggers but you're here the hostess <laughs> mouth are you seeing anyone I am 1002% single Oh wow! So, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> what about single and some more, like single. <laughs> like, I was like, I had that single. answer ready just in case you asked me that yeah. question. Um, but no, I'm not seeing anyone. This Corona have, has ruined our 2020 ah. plans, you know. I agree. No, but it's, and it's there's okay. no, there's no, there's no meeting new people. Yeah, yeah. Well, unless you're doing it online. But then that's the like that. mm -hmm. that's not the real a lot deal. Of fishes over there. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, no, I wait for 2021. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try again. <laughs> <laughs> but what would you say would be your biggest challenge that you've met in this industry? Because it's mostly media industry. What is that apart from? From, of course the eating disorders and everything mm -hmm. what's what has been your biggest challenge mm, i think just people's expectations like we talked yeah. about mm -hmm. of people expecting you to be who they see on tv yeah. mm. there are people <laughs> many men who have fallen in love with joy mutengi yeah and they've never met me so and then when they meet me they expect me to be that person and i'm like no no no, you no? don't even know me do you want to buy me what <laughs> you literally <laughs> do not know me you've never spent time with me yeah. i'm flattered but it's like I would like for people to get to know the real me just because you saw a billboard of me or you mm -hmm. saw me on on television. I was playing a character. <laughs> I'm an actress. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, that that's one of the biggest struggles is that is that it's hard for people to get to know the real you. Yeah. That's at true. the end of the day, and you know you can you can you can only fake it for so long. Mm -hmm. Now you start dating someone and they think they're dating Jay Mutengi. You know. And then I take you to Macha and then. <laughs> I need someone who is there for like the nitty gritty and yeah. the rough parts. You know, yeah. there's a lot of like with all of this Corona that happened, um, and and some of you know I was I, I date obviously um, mm -hmm. I wasn't in a very serious relationship, but there are people that I was dating, and you know all these rough parts of life started showing up yeah. with this pandemic. Most of them don't talk to me anymore. Like it's like people just disappear. Yeah. I did my pull up pick up. You know? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. So you were literally here for for what? Right, exactly. So yeah, for me Do you have like a checklist, you know, for the perfect naomba a quena forehead. I already have five of those, so we're good. We're good on that front. Um, Do you have one? I used to have one. Yeah. I don't anymore. Why? Because life. <laughs> I've dated adulting. enough. I'm adulting. I've dated enough to know that that those things are just superficial. Really, yeah. I really just want somebody you know with a kind heart, someone yeah. who's gonna be there through the tough times, yeah. and somebody who makes me a better person. Awesome. Somebody who, in their presence, I'm able to evolve and be my my best self. I don't want somebody who leads me into temptation <laughs> <laughs> and all the wrong paths yeah. because they're stressing you out. Yeah, yeah. all making you Amen. diminish yeah. yourself to yes, make them you know, like exactly. better or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, your case, guys. honestly, yes, a partner should be able to just like show, bring out the best in you. And you know that word partner is so important. Yeah. I've dated guys who are like, I am more important than you because I have more money and I have more clout and you don't matter and your time doesn't matter and your feelings don't matter. You just be there yeah. when yeah. I, you know, when I call, like yeah. you just, just be present eh? no. and be pretty. Mm. Like, and I'm like, that's not a partnership. No, a partnership no. is where yeah. we both grow together exactly. and, and learn from one another. You so, build each yeah, other. Yeah, we build each other yeah. up. So, Absolutely. Yeah. so, to top a tier handled, <laughs> <by guy. laughs>
kama umesikia hizo vitu zenye zinatajwa yeah jiweke kwa straight and the narrow ujue kama unaweza yeah. but you've had so many highs in your career so many beautiful highs do you have one particular one that stand out that stands out for you Mm -hmm. I think for sure I always say Tasca Project Fame was a highlight for me. Yeah. Yes. That was that was TV boot camp, live TV and I'd never done live. I used to do a lot of recorded shows and that was just you're talking to people in six different countries and they're tuning in like like the viewership was insane. So I learned a lot. Yeah. It was a difficult path to get there. Yeah. Um because of course people weren't used to to me they're used yeah. to the previous host the lovely yeah. Sheila and you know you step in and they're like mm, so we're going to try you know yeah. the worst so thing you to say yeah. Yeah. all the time like yeah. when we started like when we came to Chatspot I mm. think we started in February and there were of course other hosts <laughs> and now like the first episode I was the first one that came like no we don't like her <laughs> <laughs> like so much it's the most difficult thing yeah. I've, I've so had to difficult. deal with it several times in my career but what I've realized um is is just people have to get to know you yeah. and you have to not try to be whoever the person exactly. before was exactly. and the, they'll grow to love you and so they did with TPF um, TPF led me into uh, Twende Kazi which was another show by Tasca that yeah. we hosted mm -hmm. of people traveling around mm -hmm. the world and I actually got to host the finale in the O2 arena in London and I'm wow. like this is where Rihanna and Chris <laughs> Brown and Bjorn like what <laughs> and I'm just here on this stage that was such a high for you it was such a high I still remember that to this day but yeah there have been a lot of uh, great moments but I think I try not to focus so much on the who I used to be because yeah. there's also that thing when you've done a lot that sometimes when you're not having a good day you're like okay but you know yeah. so I try not to focus on that and just try to just everyday things that bring me joy yeah, yeah. I try to really ground myself in that but you're joyful joy <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, st speaking of corona and covid and it affecting you know dating life mm. how how else has it affected you and your craft um i think and i was just talking to my brother about this mm -hmm. about how much we are having to change the way you think about yeah. radio and tv and media in general mm -hmm. and having to reimagine everything you mm -hmm. know before we just used to sit around and be wait, wait to be called for shows yeah. like there are no shows mm -hmm. <laughs> so you are having to be really creative in how you get your content out and how you brainstorm and how you engage people mm -hmm. so it's a challenge and i think for the people who are ready to meet that challenge they'll survive absolutely oh, hd mm -hmm. has a kitchen exactly i know so i'm, I'm saying. like what? <laughs> <laughs> move on yeah Apart from working, 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 what does joy do for fun? Um, it depends on the season in life that I am. Mm. I used to write a lot. I used to do like spoken word, like I told you. So I used to write a lot of poetry and short stories. But then you know how life happens. It gets to a point where it's like, all right, evolution happens. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm in, in, into knitting. I yeah. do, yeah. Boshori. It's like <laughs> crochet. Crochet. <laughs> crochet. I make, you know, scarves and, yeah. and wow. little hats. My mom taught me how to do that when I was younger. I watch a lot of series. So, yeah, I'm a super, like, TV junkie. And I just like to just chill. I'm not a... Um, a, a going out person so corona hasn't expected yeah. <laughs> affected me in that <laughs> way i'm just kind of like see i've been here the whole time yeah. but yeah so yeah just hanging out with close family and close friends that's yeah. kind of i'm just kind of like low-key like that but do you have like a favorite um role that you've played on tv that like you felt like wow that one i nailed it it's just perfect you liked it or maybe you are the the, the command person what, who are they called think, yeah the villain the villain yeah. i think on changing times the person i played was so different <laughs> from who i am that i loved it she was like this evil stepmom yeah. and she's plotting and she's scheming and she's glamorous fully and she's trying to steal this guy's money and i was just like what that's <laughs> not me <laughs> it's not me but it, it gives you that outlet of being like somebody else and yeah. you're kind of like oh i can walk in this person's shoes for a while i remember we won a kalasha the first uh, season we did of changing times we had been on air for li less than six months wow. so i remember being at the kalashas with everyone and we're like eh. and caroline mutoko announces our name and we're like <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those are those are really good times. Oh, but awesome. certainly your time is up. So Thank where you. can people find you so they can get this motivational joy? <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah. 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 doing those things. I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not on Facebook. I'm on Twitter at Joey underscore Mutengi. That's J O E Y underscore Mutengi. My Instagram got hacked recently. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I lost that account. No, I did not get it back. I've started a new one. Same handle, Joey underscore Mutengi. So social media, that's my hand. Those are my handles. Oh, wow. Twitter and um, and and 
Instagram, so you can follow me there. Yay, Yay. thanks yeah. for coming. Thank yeah, you so much, so guys. Much, this yeah. was so, so fun. Much fun. I was You're so right. scared. <laughs> Take us away. Take us <laughs> home. Let me, let me. <laughs> Mimi member, you have been told everything there is for you to know. But to attend 30, we see you tuning for the repeat. We we'll love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.